It was a full house on May 11, 2018 for the return of Casa 0101's production of Beauty and the Beast. The story is about a young egotistical prince who is turned into a hideous beast and whose kingdom is placed under a powerful spell which can only be broken by love's first kiss. Well, Dave, first of all, it's great to see you again. <laughs> um, you know what, it's just, it, it's, it's the cherry on top, really. I mean, because you do it once, you enjoy, you love it, and it's always a bittersweet uh, motion when you do the, the closing for it. And so when the ad, they were thinking about bringing it back again, and we started to get so many requests to bring it back. You know, they, right away they asked me, are you willing to come back? And when I got that question, it was, you know, it was a no-brainer. I, I, it's, it's a beautiful story. It's a character that I love, love playing. You know, I get to do so much with this character. And with the direction of Rigo Tejera, it's just amazing for him just to give me the liberty to do so. As the years pass, the Beast loses all hope of ever meeting someone who will love him and he in return. One day, a beautiful young woman named Belle, an avid reader, from a nearby village stumbles upon his castle deep in the woods. Um, you know what? It's such an iconic uh, thing. Um, it's, and it was very difficult at first because you, you think Disney, you want to go all big Disney princess, um, but you have to have it somewhat rooted in truth, but you still want to keep that, that, um, that sense of wonder. Um, and it was, yes, it was difficult at first, but now I feel like uh, after working with the cast and everything, you really keep that sense of magic about it. In order to save her father, she agrees to remain a prisoner of the beast forever. Absolutely, yeah, this is a really fun show. It is. It's, it's really lovely, and it's lovely for the whole family, and just, it's beautiful, just makes you happy. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to. <laughs> Dis Disney, Disney takes energy. You yes. Gotta, you especially to, to be a level of quality. Disney. Yes, yes, so, it's good stuff. Yeah. All seems to be going well until one day she discovers the enchanted rose the prince refused to accept when it was offered to him by an enchantress. The beast, enraged by her actions, scares Belle off. She vows never to return. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I honestly love this role so much just because there's a little part of it in me that I kind of exaggerate throughout the show, but what I find really fascinating about Gaston is the he's so juxtaposing to the beast. Meaning, like, if the beast wasn't cursed, he would have been a Gaston. So I'm actually playing what the beast would have been like if he never was cursed. The show was lively, entertaining, and colorful. I absolutely adore this show. I feel like I've been doing this show since I was in high school, like, pretty much nonstop. So, um... Any opportunity that I have to do Beauty and the Beast and tell this beautiful story, I will jump on that train anytime. Even the two creepy, annoying villains, Gaston and Dr. Dark, were entertaining. <laughs> um, it's great. I'm really happy to be a part of Castle 101. I think they do great stuff. I love how they um, have such a diverse cast, and so I'm really happy to be a part of it. Um, uh, I love Beauty and the Beast. Um, and uh, so I'm happy to be the wardrobe. <laughs> so if you're hungry for some good entertainment, come and be our guest. Reporting for Collegian Wired, I'm Dave Martin. Love her.